Hello YouTube and welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Um, my video quality, I'm not sure what's up with my camera, but it's not doing everything I want it to, so I'm hoping that this works this time. Um, this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I am Sherry, aka Butterfly Begins, and I am the second Friday vlogger. And I am a lap band success story. I always like to throw that in. Uh, I say that I'm a success story because I lost 100% of my excess body weight with the lap band. And um, and also lots of exercise, including the couch to 5K and running. You know, th those are the, the keys to my, some of the keys to my success. I have lots of keys to my success, and one of which is our topic today. Our topic today is, do you plan your meals in advance? Does this help you stay focused and lose or maintain your weight? Absolutely. On my way down, when I was in weight loss mode, I, I call it weight loss mode and then maintenance mode. When I was in weight loss mode on my way down, I planned my meals, sometimes up to a week in advance. I knew each day what I was going to eat. Sometimes I ate the same thing every day. You know, it just depended on if I had time to really take the time and look up my calories and protein and all that. But the, the point is, I knew every single day exactly what I was going to put in my mouth, exactly how many protein grams I was going to have by the end of the day, um, exactly how many calories. I knew. I planned it, I knew it, I stuck to my plan, and I knew. And when I was in weight loss mode, I did not even try to cheat. I did not veer from that at all. I did not drink with my meals. I did not um, add snacks in that I didn't have in my plan. I did nothing outside of my plan when I was on my way down. Once I hit maintenance, once I hit my goal, I continued to live my life that way for several more months. And I kind of started to relax. I was like, okay, I've lost all this weight, you know. I know what I can and can't do, so I'm not going to worry about having all these things planned out and packed every day. You know, I'm just going to go ahead with it. Well, that worked okay for a little while. And then I started to gain weight. Which Now, guys, I've always fluctuated, you know, three to four pounds. Well, two to three pounds, not really three to four. When I get to four pounds, that's when I get concerned. So, two to three pounds, I would always fluctuate, you know. I was going between 131 and 135, actually. So that is four pounds. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, fluctuating is one thing. Gaining is another. There is a difference. Gaining, you, you just know the difference. You know, when you gain and you, like when you pick up four pounds and then you hold on to that four pounds for a few days, you've gained. If you pick up four pounds and a few days later you're back down two, you're fluctuating. And you fluctuate for all kinds of reasons. You know, water, uh, periods girls, um, just all kinds of reasons to fluctuate, but, um, when I gained six pounds, I freaked out, and I gained that six pounds by being so relaxed and not paying as much attention to what was going in my mouth, so when I gained that six pounds, I freaked out, and people, you know, some people are like, six pounds, what's six pounds, you lost 106, you know, you're still a size four, well, guess what, those size fours were uncomfortable, uh, I was on my way back to size six, and everybody's like, size six? I'd kill to be a size six, because I know when I was bigger, when I was on my way down, and I would see somebody fuss about getting back up to size six, I'd be like, what are you talking about? Guys, it's, it's, that's how we got, that's how I got up to size 22. I would be like, well, I'm a size six, at least I'm still size, size six, and the next thing I know, I'm size eight, but I'm still in the single digits, and then the next thing you know, you're a size 14. Oh, I'm not going any, any, any heavier. If I get any heavier, I'm going to do something about it, if I get any heavier. Before you know it, you're in a size 22 and your head's spinning. And you're like, how did I let myself go this far? So, when I gained those six pounds and my size fours became too uncomfortable to wear, I knew I had to do something. And what did I do? I got out my pen and paper and I started planning my meals. Started planning everything that I was going to put in my mouth and determined that I was going to stick to that plan. And... I lost it right back. Lost those six pounds again. It took me a little while. It took me a couple weeks. Oh, it took me, I think, three weeks to lose six pounds, which is okay. It's two pounds a week average. But, you know, if I had not stopped paying attention to what I was putting in my mouth, I wouldn't have gained it back in the first place. And if I had not taken the initiative to get that pen and paper back out and start planning my meals again, I would probably still be gaining. I would. Because that's how I ended up where I was to begin with. So, yes, 
I pre-plan my meals. I probably will do that the rest of my life now because I've seen what happens when you relax and just let it go. And I don't want to go there again, guys. I am not going that direction again. Been there, done that, not going there again. And I've got some real big t-shirts to prove it. Uh, you guys have a great, great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Stick to your rules. Whatever your surgery you've had, know your rules. Follow your rules. Even if you're in maintenance, hey, have a plan. Have a plan. It will make a difference, a tremendous difference. You guys have a great weekend.